Today's question is about gas loss. Part A of the question reads, A diver at the bottom of a swimming pool 10 meters deep releases an air bubble of volume 2 cubic centimeters. As the bubble rises, its volume increases. Explain this observation. Now one thing we need to consider here is that the pressure in liquids increase with the depth. So when the air bubble is at the bottom of the swimming pool, at that point we expect the pressure to be maximum. And then as it moves to the surface, the pressure reduces. And for that reason, we expect the volume of the bubble to increase. So for this question, we'll answer it as follows. We say the volume of air in the bubble is inversely proportional to the pressure exerted on the bubble by the water. As the bubble rises, water pressure decreases, leading to an increase in volume of the bubble. So this is an application of Boyle's law. Now part B of the question. What will be the volume of the bubble at the surface of the pool if the atmospheric pressure is 101,350 pascals and density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter if temperature is kept constant? Now we have the diagram as shown here. So we have the bubble at the bottom of the swimming pool and the bubble after it's risen to the surface. We're told the swimming pool is 10 meters deep. Now when the bubble is at the bottom, we expect its pressure and volume to be different from the pressure near the surface and the volume near the surface. Now beginning with the pressure at the bottom of the swimming pool, let's denote it as P1. So we say the pressure at the bottom is given by atmospheric pressure plus pressure due to water column. So when the bubble is at the bottom, it experiences pressure due to the liquid column that is height 10 meters and also atmospheric pressure acting on the liquid surface. So these two combined will lead to the overall pressure acting on the air bubble at the bottom of the swimming pool so that in order to calculate pressure at the bottom we'll have atmospheric pressure plus pressure due to water column so we'll say pressure due to water column is obtained as h rho g where h is the depth of the liquid rho is the density of the liquid and G is the gravitational field strength. So the height of the liquid here is 10. We are told it is 10 meters deep. And then rho is the density of water, which we are told is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. And then G is the gravitational field strength, of which we assume it to be 10 newtons per kilogram for this case. We had already been given the atmospheric pressure here. So we have 101,000 350 pascals. So when we add this, we should get the pressure at the bottom, which is 201,350 pascals. At the same time, we are told that the volume of the air bubble at the bottom of the swimming pool is 2 cubic centimeters, and therefore V1 is 2 cubic centimeters. Now remember for this question we are required to get the volume of the bubble at the surface. So the surface is up here so that means we need the value of V2. So do we know P2? P2 is the pressure at the surface. The pressure at the surface at this point we only have atmospheric pressure acting on the bubble. So we have P2 equal to atmospheric pressure and that is 101,350 pascal. So just as we've had it here. Now what you're left with 
is v2 so that is the or rather the volume of the bubble at the surface next we are going to apply boyle's law now by boyle's law p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 and then from here we are going to make v2 the subject because that is what you're looking for so v2 is p1 v1 over p2 and then after that our task is to substitute the values of p1 v1 and p2 in this formula here so we say v2 is equal to p1 times v1 p1 is 201350 times v2 which is 2 so we have that and then on the denominator we have p2 p2 we have as 101350 so we have it right there and then at the end of it when you work out this we'll get the volume at the surface as 3.973 cubic centimeters and so that is how we go about this question thank you for watching hope to see you in the next video bye